what's going on traders welcome back to another video i hope you guys are having an amazing weekend today we're going to be talking about growth stocks some of these growth stocks has been beaten down massively if you see nasdaq for example it has recovered quite well from all-time high nasdaq is down by 1.39 percent the same thing goes to dow jones actually dow jones is up by 0.82 percent from its all-time high pretty much created another all-time high and the same thing goes to sap 500 actually they are up by 1.25 percent from its all-time high so we can say the market has recovered quite well but there are some stocks that has amazing growth potential still beaten down massively in this video i want to talk about those i'm sure you guys are gonna enjoy this one with that let's get started <music> welcome back everyone thank you for taking time from your weekend I chose to be here to watch this video if you are here for the first time please do not forget to smash that like button and subscribe to this channel it will help this channel grow big time and in the meantime you're not going to miss out the videos that we post on a daily basis the first stock that i want to talk about is skills right now it is trading at 17 dollars 25 all time high for this stock was around 43 44 dollars from that it has dropped massively even though they dropped to 17 dollars this stock is up by 73 percent purchase 200 shares in this public portfolio and my average price is around 18 dollar and 29 cents i spend around 3400 dollars in this stock if it continues to drop down i don't mind averaging down and add more shares one thing that i didn't like about this stock is it is actually trading a little bit rich the enterprise value per sales is 27 but the forward enterprise value per sales is kind of good around 17 price to sales ratio is at 22 and the forward price to sales ratio is at 18. one thing that i really like about the stock is their revenue grows 91 percent guys they're expecting to grow by 68 percent this is the forward revenue grows that's going to be massive but they have to keep that to bring back the moment and another key important matrix is their gross profit margin that is at 94 percent most companies wish to have a gross profit margin that good in the long term i believe they have a huge growth potential ahead of them that's why actually cathy wood keeps buying the stock if you don't have this stock on your watch list i highly recommend to put it check out their revenue in 2018 it was 50 million dollars 2019 they doubled 190 million dollars in 2020 230 million dollars and at the same pace their gross profit was increasing 2018 was 48 million dollars 2019 114 in 2020 217 million dollars i don't know why the stock keeps dropping down especially when i see it on friday everything is going up except skills i was like what is happening with the stock that's why i decided to add 100 shares i already have 100 kind of average down if it continues to drop down i don't mind buying more shares actually few key support and resistance area that i am looking for the first one is going to be around 17 dollar and 31 cents it looks like it is breaking below it if it breaks below it, we're gonna be in big trouble most likely this is gonna drop all the way to 14 dollars even lower than that it can go all the way to 12 dollars and 70 cents for those of you are planning to invest in this stock have a strategy in place right now it is consistently downtrending creating lower lows and lower highs it really depends on your risk tolerance when i buy 200 shares i really calculated what is my risk tolerance if i have 300 dollars for example the 100 dollars can go right now because any moment this can turn bullish and start to create higher highs and higher lows but if it continues to drop down i still have that 200 dollars which is around 66 percent that i can play with maybe average down if it continues to create higher highs and higher lows maybe add a little bit more share and ride the momentum i'm sure the chart is very scary it was creating this falling wage this could potentially break below it or break outside and from what i am seeing closely it actually broke below it maybe sometime we're gonna get a pure confirmation maybe sometime next week if it continues to drop down most likely it's gonna reach to 14 dollars it can even drop to 12 dollars and start to create higher highs eventually recover back but anyways something to keep in mind and the second stock that i want to talk about is fubo right now it is trading at 23 dollars it was forming this beautiful falling wage pattern and this friday actually broke outside of that and start to create higher highs and higher lows so there is going to be a momentum coming around this stock we know this stock is extremely volatile one day it is at 20 dollars the next day it is at 60 dollars 
I have been swing trading this stock and right now it could be another opportunity for us. Already a broke outside of it creating higher highs and higher lows. This is going to be bullish. So one resistance area we can potentially face is around $30, even $31. Even if it starts to create lower lows after it reach that $30, it is going to be a good gain, which is going to be around 50% on your money. We can quickly see how the company is doing overall. EV per sales is 16, much better than skills. Forward EV per sales is 7.54, price per sales ratio, that is 4.76. And forward price per sale ratio is 6.92. So the company is not expensive. Actually, it is unfair value. And year over year growth is outstanding 4,998%. And the forward year over year growth is 467%. Imagine quadrupling your money in just one year. But one thing I can recommend is when there is high profitability, there is gonna be high risk that is gonna come with it. So keep it in mind. And the third stock that I want to talk about is Fisker. Right now it is trading at $15.40. So this stock at some point was traded at $31.96. When a lot of analysts start to upgrade their price, even they have a price target all the way to $40. The reason I want to highlight it is it was always creating lower lows and lower highs. And now around $15, it is kind of consolidating. If you see the chart in the last one year, it is kind of moving through this channel. Sometimes it will be very easy to predict the next price target, but in this case, it kind of broke outside of the channel and now it is actually trading below. So some support and resistance areas I will be looking for. The first one is at $14.93. It is most likely touching that. But if we break below that, we're going to see Fisker dropping all the way to $11. That will be another entry point. I haven't purchased any shares yet. I am looking forward for Fisker. If it's going to drop and touch $11 or kind of consolidate, start to go, go sideways a little bit and eventually trade higher highs and higher lows and get back to $30, even $25. That would be a 60% growth, but something to keep in mind and put it on your watch list. We can quickly go over the company since they haven't done anything. They don't have revenue. It'll be very hard to actually see the value. They kind of gave it price per book around four, but very hard to really tell all these things that's why sometimes it is tricky to invest in a company that doesn't have generate any revenue yet and now let's talk about stock number four it is genog golden nuggets this has become one of my most favorite stock i'm sure you guys remember when i talked about this stock last time there are a few concerns i had the first one was i thought it was creating this head and shoulder pattern exactly it was but fortunately enough once it completed both the left and right shoulder actually broke outside of that pattern and now we're having this double bottom recovery so that is good for the company especially last few days it is consistently creating higher highs and higher lows most likely we're going to get back to 22 23 dollars kind of consolidate a little bit there and eventually get back to 27 dollars that is going to be a very good return and at the same time if you closely see the chart it actually broke outside of this downtrending pattern and one resistance area i am looking is 18 dollars once it broke outside of that there is going to be no stopping for golden nuggets and right now i am sitting on 150 shares and my average price is 14 dollars 43 we are up by 12 percent 279 dollars i also sold a call option that is how i continue to make consistent money on a weekly basis if you have 100 shares of anything you can simply sell a call option even if you make $5, $7, who will give you that $5, $7? No, but I most likely I make around four, five hundred dollars a week. But something to keep in mind, if you really want to learn more about that, please go back and watch my previous video. I'm going to leave the link in the description so you can be able to do this type of things and make consistent money in a long run that is going to make you extremely profitable. One thing that I like about it is it's revenue growth, 64% growth. And the company hasn't expanded that much in it. If you talk about DraftKings or Penn National, they actually grown way more than Golden Nuggets. But this is a new company and they're killing it in all aspects of the business. The gross profit margin is 78%. Again, that is very good. And the value price per sales is 6. Forward price per sales is 5.59. If I show you DraftKings, DKNG, we are actually paying way more than Golden Nugget, actually double. EV per sales is 36, 
Forward EV per sales is 22. Price per sales is 30. That is almost five eggs golden nuggets price per sales ratio. So that's why I took my money from DraftKings and put it on golden nuggets. And another scenario where I will be adding more shares is if a break above this resistance area at $17 up to $18, I'm going to be adding a little bit more shares because I want to ride the momentum all the way to $22, $23. That is a good return, right? I hope you guys have this on your watch list. And last but not the least, Jumia Technologies. Right now, it is trading at $37. In this public portfolio, I own about 170 shares. My average cost is around $36. Check out the market cap for this stock, $3.3 billion. And they already have 4,000 employees. And they're tapping into one of the biggest industry, which is e-commerce. I know the reason the stock is so cheap because it is located in Africa. If Jumia was an American company located in US, this would have worth 40, 50 billion dollars easy. They're targeting more than a billion people and 52 countries. Three billion dollars won't do justice for a company like this. But of course, they have to prove themselves for more and more investors to start to believe in Jumia. I personally do believe so. My price target for this one is at least 60 dollars. And we're going to see how that is going to turn out. At first, we talked about this forming head and shoulder pattern. But now I am happy that it broke outside of this head and shoulder pattern. Right now it is creating higher highs and higher lows. Looks like we are having a double bottom recovery. So that is a good thing for investors, especially for long term investors. My fear was if a break below this $32, we're going to see Jumia at $25. Even it can potentially break and go all the way to $12, $13. That will be a disaster for the company. If the company dropped all the way there, it would be very hard to get back on track. So one thing that I'm watching is if Jumia is going to break outside of this lower lows, a lower high pattern, which is Jumia has to be traded above $40 in the upcoming week. Maybe it's going to complete the cycle and create that higher highs and higher lows. And the major resistance area it has is at $52. So if you trade it from here to $52, that is a 35% growth. For a swing trader, I believe that is a very good opportunity. So the first thing is value. Enterprise value per sales is 19. Not bad. Forward enterprise value per sales is 16. That is not bad. You know, if it was under 10, I would be very happy. But unfortunately, it is not. Price per sales is 17. And forward price per sales is 18. Something they need to work on. The lower it is, the better it is for the company. Since this is located in Africa, they have a very good gross profit margin of 66 percent for example if we see amazon their profitability is 39 percent you cannot have a profitability at 60 percent because labor is expensive in africa labor is cheap and most of the product honestly speaking it's going to come from china another country with cheap labor that is very good for the company ev per sales is 4.35 and forward ev per sales is 3.55 so this is something jumia need to work on Overall, the revenue is growing consistently. 2017 was 111 million, 2018, 147 million, 2019, 179 million, and 2020 is 170 million. That's why the decreases because of the pandemic and a lot of restriction, of course. But I believe in 2021, this is going to be a game changer for the stock. A lot of things are changing infrastructure wise, delivery wise, awareness wise. This pandemic actually created a more sustainable system for this e-commerce companies. We're looking forward to see what they're going to accomplish in 2021. But either ways, I'm going to be holding this stock for a long term. I'm excited about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is not a financial advice, by the way. I'm just sharing with you what I think about those stocks. Keep it on your watch list. Do your own profound research. Make your own investment. But please let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below and any stock that you want me to cover. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you on my next one.